folks, welcome back. It's another special episode of Whining About Pest Control. I am Shell Hartzer of 360 Pest Consulting. And if you joined us for the last episode, we were talking about bed bugs in the holidays. So this time we're going to talk about some other uninvited guests that may be coming in. Basically, our plant pests. In honor of that, I am drinking a mulled wine because nothing says winter like a warm glass of mulled wine. So cheers. Mmm. This time of year, there's lots of things coming in, particularly plants. We have trees, flowers, potted plants, live wreaths, so much more. So let's wind about the trees first. Whether it's going to be a live tree or a cut tree, it spent quite a bit of time outside before it was bought and brought inside. That means that pests may be in it. I have seen news reports of everything from raccoons, owls, small birds, snakes, even a koala that have been in these trees when they came inside. What's going to be a lot more common is the insects and the spiders. Mantids really like to lay their eggs in those pine needles. Some of the true bugs will do that as well. Beetle larvae can actually be up burrowing into the wood. The thing is, is that outside in the cold, these things are basically hibernating. Those trees come indoors where it's all nice and toasty warm. And those insects wake up, the eggs hatch, and now you have tons of extra guests to deal with. Now the potted plants like poinsettias, mums, Christmas cactuses, cacti, cactuses, eh, whatever, rosemary plants, so much more. These are often grown in greenhouses so that they're blooming and ready to go in the winter. There are lots of insects that infest grow houses. You have tiny little white flies, aphids, mites, other plant feeders. These insects are definitely awake and as soon as they get from the store to the door, they're spreading to other plants and other pots in the area. Doesn't stop there. All of those pretty flower arrangements, those live decorations are sitting in water so they don't die. But as the stems start to decompose in that water, there's now the risk of fruit flies and forward flies. That nice decomposing wet material is perfect for those small flies, especially since they can develop in about seven days. And if it's in one of those foam blocks, that's even more likely because that foam is helping everything stay wet and decomposing all together. And actually, if you have one of those cut trees, that's sitting in a base of water too, so you can get flies out of that. Still more to whine on. That pretty Christmas cactus that somebody bought and put on the table, somebody else is going to be overwatering. So now we're likely to have fungus gnats coming out of that wet soil and infesting other soil. The thing to consider this time of year is this is not just homes and residences. This is all kinds of offices, restaurants, shops, Anywhere that is decorating from the holidays can have some of these pests. Since this is whining about control, control for the most part is really to clean it up and or remove the offending items. What's tricky about this is it's a bit challenging to find those items. So if you know what insect it is, and it's one of these weird winter ones, you can at least start honing in on some of those plants and start asking for where that new stuff was brought in, where it might be sitting. So if all that didn't bring you a little bit of holiday joy, then go back and watch another whining episode or wait for the next one. There's plenty of pests and there's plenty of wine still. Until then, grab a glass, don't overwater your plants, and whine to me about your cool holiday pests. As long as it's not in-laws, I, I can't help you with those. Share with all your pals and partners and cheers to those very special plant pests. Mm -hmm.